Hey guys, what's up, it's Vicious here, and welcome back to another video. Now, I know you guys might be a little excited for this video just because it sort of clears up a lot of questions that you guys have been asking on the YouTube channel as well as the Discord channels. So, uh, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining the difference between all the different types of spoofing apps out there, uh, whether they be uh, on Android or iOS, and then we're gonna be sort of tiering them depending on how safe they are to use and how likely you are to get banned with them. Uh, you might not like some of the things you hear in this video, um, especially regarding PG Sharp, but obviously I've, I've, you know, I've promoted those products in the past. I have used them in the past, so I'm going to be giving you the real deal basically now. Um, and we're going to, you know, there, I'm going to tell you how it is, um, and we're going to get straight to it. So tier one, tier one is or actually no, let's go backwards. Tier four first. We'll start with tier four. So tier four is least or is most likely to get you banned. Now, what kind of apps are in the tier four um, thing for, for Pokemon Go spoofing? Now, tier four apps would be emulators. So let's say you're using Bluestacks to, to spoof. Terrible, terrible idea. Please do not do this. Your account will get banned so fast. It's not even funny. Literally, you will get banned within 48 hours or something. So do not use an emulator. I please do not. Don't try rooting an emulator. It doesn't, it doesn't, you can't root an emulator. And the second one would be iOS spoofing. Unfortunately, iOS spoofing is, is just not happening. Um, everyone I know who is spoofed on an iOS device has, has basically gotten a strike or a warning or a ban at some point in their account's history. So don't use, don't use an iOS device to spoof. Um, even if it's jailbroken, I think it's still a bit, it's still a bit dodgy there. So I wouldn't do that regardless. Tier three. Now tier three would be, um, tier three would be an app like PG Sharp or iPoker for Android. Now these are modified applications that you can run on an Android device and do not require a rooted uh, program. Now, as you can see here, I'm actually running iPoker for Android. However, I'm actually running it on a uh, rooted device and I'm running the rooted Android application for iPogo, not the regular non-rooted um, application for, for iPogo. So it's a bit of a different thing um, because this app, or iPoker for Android uh, actually is a modified app Whereas the app that I'm running currently is uh, runs off of the base uh, Pokemon Go app. So obviously, um, the, and, and we're gonna be going over obviously why a rooted app is more safe than a modified app, but essentially what it is, is a modified app uh, has inbuilt um, systems to make sure that you can sort of change your location and do all these different things. Um, and is not is not the same as the regular Pokemon Go app, right? Obviously, um, if you have if you have tried to run PG Sharp and a few things like if you tried to run PG Sharp as well as like Polygon or something, you'll have realized that sometimes they don't really work because they're not they're not exactly built the same. There's a few different things in those modified apps, and Niantic can actually detect this. Niantic can detect that you're using a modified version of their application, not the one that's on the Play Store and they're not very happy about it so they're probably going to give you a warning or a strike now obviously i have shield and i have used pg sharp before so i understand your frustrations um but i actually got a ban a seven day ban uh two months ago using pg sharp and i have not used it since because i realized it's probably not that safe um it, the modified apps in 2023 are getting clamped down upon um as you can see from the thumbnail um yeah, we're not we're not happy with PG Sharp. We're not happy with iPoker for Android anymore. Um, and I think if you want you if you care about that account, I would not use a I would not use a modified application. Now there are some things that modified applications can be useful for though, um, and one of those things would be sort of if you make friends with your with an account that runs a modified application, then you can sort of trade shinies between them if you can get the friendship high enough. But obviously. Keep in mind, depending on how quickly that your account gets banned, it could cost you, uh, could cost you a lot of shinies. It could cost you a lot of stardust and waste a lot of your time before you can actually catch anything. So, that could be, you know, th that's something to think about um, before you actually invest in a modified application. Now, some of these modified applications have free features where you can go raid and stuff, and it's very tempting, guys. I know, I understand, it's very tempting to go get that mega Rayquaza raid done in August, but. Keep in mind, your account will be compromised, um, and this is not this is not up for debate. Um, and this is why we've played. I've placed iPogo for Android and P Sharp in tier three, uh, of most likely to get end. Tier two is um, is not as safe as rooted apps, but is definitely a little less than P G Sharp and iPogo for Android. Um, and I think most of my Discord will agree as well. 
And basically, these are apps that run off of your PC. I've actually also shielded some of these apps before. I've promoted their products where um, you connect you connect your Android device with a USB-C cable or whatever cable, and you plug it into your computer. Uh, and you spoof your location from your uh, laptop or PC or desktop or whatever. And and um, they don't have that many features usually, but usually it's, and, and sometimes it can be a bit dodgy, not gonna lie. Some of them, you know, uh, the ones I've promoted are all right, but there are definitely lots of clones out there that sometimes can have viruses, sometimes a bit dangerous, right? You don't know what you're downloading, especially with some of those websites. Um, they really can screw with you. So take care before you, you try it. Um, obviously they don't run emulators either. So, you know, I mean, yeah, good, best of luck really um, for using those applications, but they, I'd say they are safer than PG Sharp or iPogo, especially if you can get one uh, that you know doesn't, you know, isn't a virus, I guess. Um, so yeah, they don't obviously they don't have many features, but they're going to be a little bit safer. They're going to be marginally safer. And now the final tier that is the safest in Pokemon Go. Now I know lots of people who have spoofed um, using rooted methods in Pokemon Go, and I've never got a strike or warning or a ban. And I have also never gotten a strike warning or ban on any account that has not used PG Sharp before. Um, and this would be around three to four accounts uh, that I have that have not been compromised in any way. Um, and they've only used rooted apps. Now, obviously there's, there's lots of rooted apps out there, but I think the main ones would probably be Polygon, PG Tools, um, and the new recent one, Shungo, um, which are pretty decent. And so, you know, those applications, they have uh, free features and they have paid features. I'm gonna go over um, I'm gonna go over which ones, if you're a free player, which ones you want to look at. Um, but the main reason that spoofing on a rooted device is more safe is because you can use, first of all, the base Pokemon Go application from the Play Store. And second of all, because you are rooting your device, you are unlocking permissions for your rooted apps that cannot be detected by Niantic. Um, and you can sort of modify your gaming experience in a way that cannot be detected. Uh, and this is why it makes it so safe, because they just think you're, you know, the average person. Um, obviously, one of the dangers with spoofing or using a bot uh, on a rooted device is sometimes they're a bit too powerful. Um, people do get blue screens, people do get maintenance screens off of reaching catch limit, reaching spin limits. Um, and obviously, uh, those can happen to legit people as well. If you, if you stay up for 24 hours just catching Pokemon, or just running around the city for 24 hours and spinning Pokestops, eventually you're gonna hit a limit as well. Um, and so this isn't, you know, this isn't a spoofer only thing. And it happens to legit players as well. Um, obviously less so because they're not, you know, they're not using a bot. Um, but, you know, so, you know, these things happen, but um, the word going around is that Niantic doesn't really care about these things. And the only thing that they care about is the modified application use. Um, because first of all, they can't detect the roots. They can't detect the applications that are running off of root anyway. So, you know, can they, even, they don't even get a chance to care. Um, they, they really don't even get a chance to care. So yeah, if you guys are using PG Sharp, I would highly recommend stop using PG Sharp. Um, not exactly the safest application out there. Like I said earlier, uh, if you continue wanting to, to use PG Sharp, or if PG Sharp is your only option, unfortunately, if you cannot root a device, then you can try. You can try on a alt account and then trade with your main account, um, and that would be one of the ways to sort of bypass it. I would recommend not using PG Sharp on your main account, uh, and this is this goes for all modified applications, including iPoke for Android, and honestly, all the tiers below PG Sharp, so tier four emulators or iOS spoofing, I would not use your main account at all. Um, it's almost certainly going to get banned and you're not going to enjoy it, right? Nobody nobody enjoys getting banned. So uh, yeah, for for questions on how to root your device, um, I'm going to make a video uh, rooting some of the easiest devices, I think, very, very soon. Um, and my good friend actually runs a website that sells rooted devices. The link to that is in the description below. You can use my code Vicious for 10% off, blah, blah, blah. But the two easiest devices, um, according to him, are the OnePlus devices as well as Google Pixel devices. And those have the most sort of support online for routing guides and FAQs and troubleshooting in general. Um, this phone that I have currently right here, as you can see on screen um, and in the webcam is an A71, Google A70, uh, no, Samsung A71. It was a bit of a pain. 
um, but not as hard as something like a Xiaomi. A Xiaomi is a pain in the penis to root. So I would not recommend a Xiaomi, um, especially because there's just a lot more, there's a lot more steps and um, it's a lot more painful. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, uh, this video. And I think, I, I hope you guys have sort of found it helpful in sort of determining what spoofer you, you want to use and in keeping your mind clear on, on exactly what sort of spoofers you should be using in 2023 to avoid your account getting banned. Cause I know you guys have been playing for a long time, right? This game has been out for like seven years, um, maybe six years, I'm not too sure. I don't, I, I don't actually remember when it came out, but um, it's been out for a long time. So to get your account banned right now, um, really, really sucks. Um, and I, I'll tell you right now, when I got my main banned for seven days, I was not very happy um, with PG Sharp. I installed that shit immediately. I canceled everything. And uh, yeah, so these days I only use, I use Shungo and I use, uh, and I use PG Tools. Um, PG Tools actually has a free, uh, it's called PAC and it's free. Um, it, it's really good. Um, you get a ton of experience. It catches Pokemon like never before. Um, you get a ton of experience, ton of candy. So it's really good for free people. Um, number two would be Shungo. Um, Shungo is all right. Um, you get three free Shundos. Uh, actually partner with them. So there's another link in the description. If you want to pay for the premium version, it's 15 euros um, You get 10% off with my code vicious um, You can also use polygon polygon has um, A key system where you get it's it's a bit complicated honestly like every time I reuse polygon I have to like sort of remember how to do it um, But you have to link your discord with their website and stuff like that And you talk to someone you ask for enhancer key and they give you a free key um, that you can actually use to spoof, which is really good. And the final one is iPogo for Android. Uh, but the rooted application, which, you know, I'm running on my phone right now, and it's 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 all right. It does the job. Um, if, if I want to raid, usually I just turn off Shungo, and then I just go raid. Um, and the last thing I want to address, guys, is um, with regards to soft bans, with regards to catch limits. I think catch limits are fine. I think encounter limits will be fine. I don't think if you reach them and you get the maintenance screen, I think you'll also be fine. Um, with regard to soft ban, I think I don't think it matters anymore, guys. Um, I think soft banning is a thing of the past. Obviously, obviously, you know, um, if you if you break the cooldown rules, you're you're obviously not going to be able to catch Pokemon or do whatever interact with the map. But I don't think it's going to make um, a huge difference in, difference in whether your account gets uh, banned or not. So yeah, that's the entire video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and it has been insightful. Uh, once again, I want to appreciate uh, the continued support. If you're new to this channel, leave a like, leave a subscription. Um, I appreciate all my YouTube channel members.